Hi everybody, Michelle here. Today we're going to do raindrop on beautiful Indy. Indy has had lots of health issues in the past. Um, she's an amazing mare that we use here at Little Oasis Equine Assisted Learning and Psychotherapy. And I'm going to do a raindrop on her. And anyways, <laughs> stay tuned and we'll see how this goes. Come on. Okay, so this is Indy, and when we do the raindrop, we start with Valor. And what we want to do with the Valor is apply with all the oils. In the raindrop technique, I always start on the back and then go to the hooves. Not every horse likes to be raindrop. Indy is pretty okay with it, but it's you know, obviously not something that most horses are used to. As Indy's had so many issues, um, she's been raindropped quite a few times. So to start the raindrop, you always use Valor to balance. And you can balance from the pole or from the sacrum. The pole, um, it doesn't matter which. My biggest message for people with raindrop, get the oils on the animal. Horse, dog, feathered, scales, whatever. So when you're balancing, you want to be grounded yourself and just feel her pulse. And for some people, this might be easier on the pole <laughs> than on the butt, but either end is just fine. Come on, back up a little bit, sweetheart. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, so you start with the Valor you balance and seriously for as long as I've done it that's perfectly fine so next we do the all the raindrop I'm just gonna do a quick demo here I'm not gonna make you watch all of them but we're gonna do oregano of course it's the third one out of my pocket and you do the same thing you continue to drop you always start at the tail and you drop all the way up the spine And it can be as little as two or three drops or as many. And you can do Vitaflex, I think, or just petting just like I did. Again, not all horses, and I know Indy doesn't like it in particular, the Vitaflex technique can be a little irritating. And it's just like you do on a human, you do it on a horse or a dog. And now we have Betty coming to keep us company. So you would just go up the spine, down the spine, and pet. Now, that's so up the spine, pet, and apply the next oil. So next comes time. From the tail to the pole. Now, <laughs> When you have a moving target, um, it's a bit challenging, obviously. Come on. Come on. So what so this what I've just demonstrated are a couple of oils to do in the individual manner. When people do, when your critter doesn't want to stand still like this, I recommend putting all the oils, 10 drops each oil into a 15 ml container. So the 15, or that's the five, the 15 mil container, 10 drops of each of the raindrop technique um, oils and doing it like that because the full, full treatment on a horse can last 40, 45 minutes. Not everybody has that kind of time, especially if you're dealing with a sick horse with abscesses, you've got to soak their feet or whatever else going on in your daily life. So if you combine all the oils together, then you can do it in one motion. All the combination up and down the spine, give them a pet, the oils are on the horse. To demonstrate the hoof application, it's around the coronet band and you would do the Vitaflex technique around all four feet, all oils. Again, if you do the blend, you only have to do one application. You can do just the spine, you can do the feet, 
you're out or just the spine. The biggest thing, again, get the oils on an the animal. Now, some horses, if you're dealing with a really sick animal and they've got a lot of toxins, you're gonna see some welting. Indy is doing really good these days, so no welting for her. If there's welting, it's a sign of detoxification, not a problem. If the horse is really struggling with discomfort because of the welting, then add some carrier oil. And here comes Betty <laughs> going, this is ready for my close-up. So Betty loves attention just like everyone else. So she's going to be getting a raindrop too. So that was a shot of Betty's belly. And so yeah, so this is Michelle coming to raindrop get the oils on the horse. I'm going to put a lot more <laughs> instruction on the, um, in the comments, but it's, it's just that simple. Dro raindrop, drop the oils from the tail to the pole <laughs> and, um, and you're good to go. Start always with Valor. You can balance from the pole. You can balance from the hips. So, um, yeah, oils on the horse, just like in a human or any other animal, feel free to add in oils. And like today with um, Andy, I'm going to be adding in some copaiba uh, because she does struggle with arthritis in her front knees and a few other things. And copaiba is another great driver oil. Again, I'm going to put it in the middle because we already have peppermint as a driver in the raindrop. I'll just let you take a look at Betty because she's a beautiful girl too. Um, I'm so lucky to work with all the animals that we work with here are rescues. So they've all had lots of, we've had lots and lots of challenges with their health over the years. And the raindrop is a really important part of our toolkit in delivering um, the best health care that we can for them because they do invaluable work for us and every horse deserves to be healthy. So thanks for watching, um, never dull, and there goes Betty, and have a great day. And again, I'll put a little more information, Young Living Oils, Therapeutic Oils, the only ones that I trust to be pure enough to work on these beautiful girls. And bye for now.